Hello everyone and welcome back to another Star Wars Battlefront 2 mods video. And today we're going to be taking a look at probably one of the most unique reinforcements I've ever seen for Battlefront 2. So different from everything else in the game I just had to make a video about it. And that is the Viper Pro Droid reinforcement by the Spartan CV. And these probe droids are infamous amongst the Rebellion as they were sent across the galaxy as scouting units to search for the Rebels and any other enemies of the Empire. And they are also infamous for the iconic noise they make. Honestly, one of my low-key favorite Star Wars noises, something about it is just so menacing and eerie. As you may know as well, the Viper Probe Droid was in Battlefront 2015 as a turret drop for the Empire, but it wasn't playable back then. So now we can finally scour the galaxy and hunt for rebels as the Probe Droid himself. And before we dive into detail about our little murder bot, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel for all of your Battlefront 2 needs, from mod reviews to live streams, we have you covered here. So the Viper Probe Droid comes in as a new infiltrator reinforcement for the Empire, and the infiltrator class is quite accurate for this guy. With only 180 health, the Probe Droid really excels at hit and run tactics and buffing its allies. And when pinned into a corner, your best bet is to fly away and regroup as the Probe Droid has an infinite jetpack thruster. Meaning you can stay in the air as long as you would like and will always have enough fuel to escape your enemies. At first this might come across as a bit overpowered, but honestly without the infinite jetpack, the droid would be borderline defenseless due to its low health and very slow hover speed when you're not flying around. Not to mention, when you're in the air, you are a much bigger target than all of the other aerial units in the game, so it balances itself out pretty well. And I really just love the way this thing moves around, it's almost like a cross between BB-8 and Boba Fett, which is something I never thought I would say, but I actually really enjoy it. Now moving on to our abilities, the first one we have is the Scanner Beacon, where the droid will drop a sensor beacon detecting any enemies in the vicinity to you and your allies, while at the same time putting false enemy positions on the enemy radar. And this is a perfect ability for the probe droid, as their original purpose was more about reconnaissance and not about combat. However, using this ability outdoors is where we really get a tactical advantage. Similar to the KFX Spy, when you use this ability outdoors, you can call down an orbital strike on your enemies, which really encourages the hit and run gameplay I mentioned earlier. Rushing into the center of a rebel base and then dropping the beacon before making your escape and calling down a strike to wipe out an entire command post is so satisfying. And again, it makes sense as the probe droid isn't really fighting the enemies itself, instead it's communicating information to other Imperials, allowing them to make accurate ordnance strikes. Definitely my favorite ability, and it works even better with the probe droid than it did with the KFX Spy in my opinion. Our next ability is one that is ripped straight out of Empire Strikes Back. When we first see the probe droid, Han Solo blasts it, and right when it realizes that it's compromised, it self-destructs itself. Which is our second ability. This ability allows you to toggle on or off the probe's self-destruct features. When toggled on, all you have to do is press the fire button, and you will blow up and die, dealing damage to an enemy nearby you. I always use this ability when I realize I'm gonna die regardless, or if I'm matched up against an enemy I know I'm gonna lose against. So it's pretty good for getting in as much damage as you can, or even finishing off an enemy before they kill you, and I think that's the best way to use this ability. If you see a group of enemies or a hero who is low on health, that's definitely the best time to activate the self-destruct. However, if they aren't low on health, I wouldn't bother as you'll just end up not killing anyone and wasting your battle points. I love this ability because it's definitely the most accurate to the movie and definitely has its uses when your back is against the wall, however I think it could use a buff as you're pretty much sacrificing your life and your battle points, and in my experience, you can't even take out a full health trooper with it. A great ability nonetheless. And our third and final ability is called Mechanical Companion, where the Viper Probe Droid will activate this ability and repair any turret placement around itself, as well as dealing a cooling bonus to allies nearby. And this is a pretty simple buffing ability we've seen before, but it's nice to have as it encourages you to stick with your team to continue buffing them while using your scan ability at the same time to really give your allies an advantage when going for enemy objectives. This ability also has that added bonus of repairing any friendly turrets around you, and it's a nice addition, and it's pretty lore accurate, as I would imagine the probe droid would be able to perform some maintenance on the battlefield. 
but honestly, I didn't really find any use for this ability, maybe because I was playing offline against bots, and I never really saw any AI shooting at turrets, so there were never really any turrets for me to repair. However, I could see it being a lot more useful during private matches, like repairing an ion turret, giving your team a better chance at destroying enemy vehicles. But all around, the Viper Pro Droid is a very fun and very unique reinforcement that encourages team play through its scanner, repair, and cooling buff abilities. But if you are daring enough to adventure on your own with such low health, you can combine some of its explosive abilities to perform hit and run tactics that deal some major damage. As far as future tweaks, I think a slight boost to the self destruct damage and maybe even a slight boost to the health might help you last a bit longer. If you're skillful, you can definitely make it far with this droid. However, when you're still learning the ropes, it's pretty easy to die almost instantly, especially to other players, and then just lose your battle points. However, I still think that the Viper Probe Droid is an extremely fun and different reinforcement. It reminds me of when they released the BB units, no one was really expecting it or even asking for it. However, once it was in the game, it really changed up the gameplay and offered a lot of new playstyles. So with all that covered, we are going to end the video here. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and check out some more of my modded videos for Battlefront 2. And also don't forget to subscribe to the channel for regular uploads and live streams. Thank you so much for watching and happy modding my friends.